Hello everyone, welcome back to Plot Twist. I'm James, he's Dan. He's Dan, hello. Hi, hi I'm Dan. Totally Dan. Uh, that's just who I am. This is... I'm just try, I'm trying to do my I best Dan I don't, impression. So. I, don't, I don't get what you... Uh, I suck and my brother rules. Also, yes, I wet the bed until I was 20. Four. Ah. I still wet the bed. I, you still wet the bed. I yeah. thought you were 23. But... Oh no, I turned 24 last weekend, James. Jeez. Oh, I did, what, Dan. what day? What day? July 2nd. Bollocks. See, my brother remembers. I mean, I remember that that's my birthday. Okay. Well, what <laughs> game are we doing today, Dan? Uh, we're doing Mirror's Edge. Uh, Mirror's Edge? Yeah. Parkour Simulator 2008, I think is what it, it, kids call it. I thought it was 2007. Ah, it's all the same time. People th- wore cargo pre- shorts. I'm pretty sure it's 2007. I'm just Googling. <laughs> just want to make sure. I also typed in Mirror's Tedge. I don't know what a Tedge, tedge. is. It is... 2016 i'm looking at this oh, year's no, one never mind we're doing the old one anyway what do you know about this game uh i know that there's a cool woman who does loads of cool free running stuff and there's some bad guys in masks a bit like in half-life 2 and you're all like fuck the police while doing monkey vaults and shit like that fair enough okay well should we go straight into question one yeah hit me up the first question is and this is a word that i had to look up had to say multiple times didn't know what it meant what is total tolar- oh fuck total tolarism your time starts to- now totalitarianism <laughs> something like that yeah okay well i don't really i mean i guess it's relevant to mirror's edge it's a government that just uh controls all aspects uh like life and country it's like a overpowering regime like the, I think the Soviet Union up. was one. Nazis well, I one, guess I you do know that word. I didn't know that word. Yeah, I, I, I did English. history year nine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Year nine. Wait, yeah. that's like <laughs> that's when I learned that word. Fair enough. Okay, your next question. Well, you got that you right. You were coming handy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Listening that one time worked. Anyway, mm-hmm. your next question is your first picture question, and it is, what are these for? Okay, so that's like a like a backpack, which I mean, also looks like a radio. So I say it's something that you put down on the side of a building whilst you're doing your free running and it tells other people that you're like, oh, the pigs are here or something like that. Time's um, up. It no. looks like that. Ah, oh, fuck. You're, you're, you got right what it was. It's a, it's a bag. Well done. But yeah, one of them looks a bit like a radio. I don't know. But no, it, you don't put it on the side of a building to say like, hey, the, the, the people are here. The people. <laughs> good good word. You misquoted English. me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your next question. What is... Project Icarus. Your time starts now. Okay, Project Icarus is. It sounds. I'm not gonna lie. It sounds like a virtual reality headset. Um, so uh, I don't know. Maybe it's something that's turned like people into super soldiers, making the free Ooh. running even Ooh. better than it was time's before. Up. Or something like that. You, you were sort of going towards it. At the oh, end. it was a virtual reality headset. Oh, no, damn. <laughs> I should have stuck with that one. No, damn. no, no, no. Okay. And your final question. Another picture question. What is going on here? Your time starts and now. Okay. Oh. Well, that woman looks quite unimpressed. So I imagine you've just walked in on it. You went to go speak to a guy and you walked in and someone's already killed him. And then you looked at the woman and you're like, what the fuck? And she was all like, what the fuck? And then, and then you both... Your time's up. <laughs> no one killed him though. And it's all a conspiracy. <laughs> He's and actually like the guy at the, the end of Saw the pulls off. I know, that's what no? I feel like. Is okay. not it? <laughs> no. Well, actually, you were sort of right yeah right. see I knew just you, give me more time and let me develop my ideas and well you actually have 30 seconds to develop <laughs> you have 30 <laughs> seconds to develop your ideas and your time starts now okay so plot of mirror's edge you're just a little kid free running around until a guy's like you ever thought about competing and then he brings you into some free running group that hate the police and you get framed for this old dude's murder and then you use your radio powers um, to take the man down all the way from the top and within using the power of cool parkour and face tattoos and with, that, with those two what more do you need I think that's what it is your time's up you ended perfectly at the time but yeah I'm, I like, I'm trying to be of, punctual right sort of not that was kind of right I wasn't listening towards the end to be honest oh. but <laughs> oh, well, that's what everyone always says uh. <laughs> so <laughs> plot measure is edge I had a mini strike there. Plot of Mirror's Edge is um, basically the government controls everything. They can track like, every communication, monitor everything. So people who want to bring down the government 
require runners in order to deliver messages. That's the whole purpose of the messenger bag is because oh. they can't do digitalized messages or like phone calls or anything. Why don't they just use like that. drones? I mean, we've got Be- drones now, so. Yeah, well, this game was. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway. Just made pre drone. <laughs> oh, God. Well, drones can get shot down. Well, then again, runners. Uh, people runners. can't? <laughs> <laughs> people can't get shot down. Anyway. You've got to deliver the messages and you're running around delivering the messages to kind of remember the questions. Yeah, so, ow. You go to meet this guy. He's running for the new like, mayor, new president, whatever his name is. His name's Pope. He's a dead guy. And you get there and he's dead. And um, fucking your sister, knew it. Your sister, who's actually like a police woman or something oh, like that. Oh, so she's like there. part of the... She's part of the inside. So you have to yeah. weigh up your feelings for her, but also your hatred of the system. Well, yeah. she's been framed for his murder. So, um, yeah, you escape, and she decides not to escape because she doesn't want to look guilty, so she basically just gets arrested and tries to fight her cause. And you're trying to prove her innocence. And you track down, like, this other guy who's, like, maybe linked to it, but then some assassin kills him. Turns out it's actually the person you delivered the message to at the start or something like that. And Whoa, she tells dude, you about... I mean, I, f- I don't know what... I, I, I... Do you always explain the entire plot in these things? or Yes. Because you just spoiled the entire game. Oh, who cares? You don't even know what Project Icarus is yet. Ooh. Well, <laughs> oh, I mean, I was going to play this game, and now I can't. Well, thanks. Well, yeah. just, there's no point. Just, that, that's why it's just a waste of time. Anyway, Project Icarus is a thing where like, one of the past runners abandoned your group, and he's now like training the military in free running and almost take down other runners <laughs> and stuff like that. I feel like that's just ridiculous that they have to get one of the criminals just because yeah. they're that bad at free running. <laughs> they just, like, they yeah. just can't learn how to climb over things on their own. As you said at the start, government bad, you good, free run, woo. Cool. That's it. And, I mean, I feel like that's a game that everyone should play. I heard good things about it, and now that you've explained it to me in such a riveting way, I feel like, you know what? They were right. The Mirror's Edge people were right all these years. Well, thank you. Oh, I don't need to thank you. You're, you're Dan. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, this is just the show that I do all the time, and I'm not in Austin right now. I'm home, and my cool brother is just down the stairs and not here. I'm just... Yes. Am I... Am I... I feel like I'm... Is that... Is this believable? I don't know. Okay, well, I'm just going to carry it. I'm going to carry it on. My okay. brother's great, and I suck. Yes. Connor is a great person. Although there was that one time when he... um, What did he do? He called me a twat hey. or something like that in an episode hey. of um, what? I was very upset. Okay, I was going through some. St- I mean, I mean, Connell <laughs> was going through some stuff. <laughs> Let's just end it. Plot twist. Plot twist, guys. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>